All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a shit, Shalom, to all the Akiyam out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go on this lesson on we don't have free will or, um, as people want to say, the, the, the ability to do whatever we want, okay? To, to, to uh, you know, freely sin or, you know, even our own thoughts. You know, we don't have uh, free will. The Lord is the one who, who has the will. That's why um, what the scriptures say, um, you know, uh, the Lord will be done. Okay, not not our own will or what we want to happen. Okay, because because you got a lot of people out here that think that um, they can do whatever they want, you know, and and when you know and, and and these people that say that have the mentality have that mentality and they read the Bible, you know, you 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 can't read the scriptures, okay, and think what your own uh, perspective, man. Okay, the scriptures say what they say, and if the Lord and if the scriptures say that the Lord uh, will, you know, uh, is is what's uh, prevalent, then that's what they say. We're not out here twisting the scriptures, but with that said, I'm gonna start off with this scripture, James four and thirteen. Go to now, you that say today or tomorrow. We will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. And that's what a lot of people um, nowadays do, you know. Um, are we going to wake up tomorrow and we're going to go do this tomorrow, you know. It says, whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow, you ain't, you're not even in charge of you waking up, okay. You don't sit up there and say, okay, well... You know, I'm asleep. I want to just randomly wake up in 10 minutes or 15 minutes, okay? First off, if you want to do that, what you got to use? A, a freaking alarm clock. And if, if you went to go to sleep, okay, the Lord can make it to the point where you don't even hear your alarm clock, okay? Let's say you you going to sleep for, for the night, you know, the Lord can have something happen to where you wake up in the middle of the night, you know? So we're not in charge of anything, man. You people out here think that that you have the ability to do whatever you want, man. You off, man. According to what the scriptures say, it says, "What? Where is you know not what shall be on tomorrow? You know, I'm a, I'm a. We're gonna go to this city tomorrow. You know, we're gonna drive a a, a van or, or whatever, catch the bus or whatever. You know, and then next thing you know, it's it's a, a traffic incident, okay? Or or you you catch a flat." Okay, it says, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and vanishes away. For that, you ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. So it's the Lord's will whether we do something today or tomorrow, man. Okay, not our, not our own will, but the Lord's will. Okay, Where, wherever the, the thoughts that come to our mind, that's the Lord bringing them thoughts to our mind. Okay, if, if we are to, to live today or tomorrow, okay, or die today or tomorrow, that's the Lord's will. Okay, we don't know what's going to happen uh, tomorrow, uh, five minutes from now, okay, a month from now. We don't know any of that stuff, man. We just going with the flow. Okay, and you people just, you know, you 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 come into this world, okay. As the scriptures say, is it, it, it your life is is a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. You think that you just gonna come into this world, okay, for the little bit of time that you here, and you just gonna do something to 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 accept the order that the Lord already established on this earth, that you just. Randomly just going to come on this planet and just do whatever the hell you want. Now you can you can make a, a gun 
And you could go fight up against the Lord if you wanted to. Because you already got people out here that think that, that Satan fought against the Lord. And that's all for according to the scriptures, man. The Satan is, is in complete order to, to uh the Lord, man. Which his name is Yahweh by some Yahweh You got people that think that they 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 choose the Lord. Okay? We don't choose the Lord. The Lord chooses us, man, according to the scriptures. Okay? Um Proverbs 19 and 21. There are many devices in a man's heart. Okay? Now, let's see what this say. The word the word uh the word device is uh ma maka sa ba maka sa ba okay and it stands for thoughts device thoughts device plan purpose invention okay so there are many thoughts in a man's heart we go into the word um Heart is la laop, okay. Which it says there are many. Uh, with the word laop, your heart is your mind according to the scriptures. So it says there are many thoughts in a man's mind. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord, uh, that shall stand, okay. And what what is the counsel of the Lord? Okay, the counsel that advice the purpose. So. Whatever you do, man, you know, you could be thinking like, I'm going to go kill this nigga. That's the Lord putting the spirit on you to do that. You know? Everything that you see out here in this world is uh, the Lord's will, man. Everything that you see. Okay? Or else it wouldn't happen. Now, the Lord's will, the Lord's purpose is for his people, the Israelites, to, to, to his elect. To, to, to push this word and 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 to be sealed and to, to, to be the first fruits or the or the men that are that are us uh, or the men and women and children that are slated it to get uh salvation during the second coming of the one who the world inwardly calls Jesus his real name is Yahweh Shah. So the Lord's purpose is that his people, okay, are going to get sealed. Okay? And that's why we still over here and shit hasn't hasn't been done yet. Okay? According to the scriptures. The 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 fact of the matter is you got people that think all type of crazy thoughts all day long. They don't know where them thoughts come come from. You know, the thought just coming to your mind one randomly. You know where you think that comes from, man. You don't just randomly think, yo, I want to think about this. You know? That's not what comes to your mind. Whether somebody loves you or not. That's not something that you you have any control over, okay? You have people that, that have demons on them. You can say the most meanest thing in the world to somebody, okay? And they still love you, okay? That's just the, the, the spirit that the Lord uh, can put on somebody, okay? It says the counsel or the purpose of the Lord that so stands. And one of his purposes is that America... Is going to get destroyed. America, which is called Babylon the Great, and the scriptures is going to get destroyed. Okay? You got the so called white people who are going into slavery, which are the Edomites. If their lineage goes back to Esau, they're going into slavery. Okay? And their purpose, or, 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 or well, well, yeah, their purpose is to, to, to um, be a whooping stick to to uh Israel, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the Lord is putting the spirit on them, okay, under the left hand side, uh with 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 Satan, okay, to do the things that they're doing. So so that's the reason why they they have the mindset that okay, um I want I wanna uh build these houses or build these buildings, you know, skyscrapers. Um, I want to transfer bodies and do uh, human uh, transplants and heart trans, you know, mind transplants and all that stuff. Okay? The Lord set the, the so-called white man up to have all these devices and thoughts in their heads because they're the devil. Okay? That's the, that's the way that the Lord set it up. Okay? That's the purpose of the Lord. That's the way, way he, what he meant for them. Okay, Proverbs 26, I mean, Proverbs 16 and 1. 
the preparations of the heart in man, and and answer and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. So everything that we say, you know, every every all the thoughts that come to our mind, that's all from Yahweh Shem Yahusah, man. Okay, so so people think that you know uh, we do this and we do that. That's man, that's a bunch of craziness, man. Okay, um, Proverbs sixteen and nine, a man's heart. Devises his way, but the the Lord directs his steps. Okay, um, the word uh the uh device. Hold on, Salaki. Uh, it says a man's heart deviseth his way. Okay, the word deviseth in the Hebrew is uh kasab. Okay, and it says to think. Plan, esteem, calculate, invent, make a judgment, imagine, count. Okay. So a man may may think, okay, you know, as a as a child, he may grow up and think, you know, I wanna I wanna be a doctor. Okay, I wanna be a scientist or whatever. You know? Well the Lord is the one who devises that, that person's way, man, if that's what what the Lord wants from them. Okay? Um, Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hands of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. Okay? And, when, and one, one example of this scripture is Donald Trump. Okay? The king of Babylon right now. Okay? And, and every time you see him sit up there and say, Okay, I, we're going we're gonna to get rid of Obamacare. Okay, we're going to repeal and 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 get rid of it. Okay, and then next thing you know, uh, Obamacare is still in there. He he says something and say, I never said that we was going to get rid of Obamacare. You know, well that's the Lord doing that. Okay, the Lord is putting the spirit on Obama, um, uh, um, Donald Trump. Okay, to do whatever the Lord wants, man. Okay. It's the Lord's purpose, and that we just have to sit back and wonder what the heck is the Lord doing, okay? And it's stirring up a lot of things, okay? When you spiritual, you see a lot of things, okay? The Lord is, is stirring up a lot of controversy in this society. Uh, Proverbs 20 and 24, you know, these just scriptures to, to, to prove, you know, that the Lord uh, will is the, the, the ultimate will, okay? Not your own free will. Because you don't know what's good for you, man. Okay? A lot of people out here that think that don't even know what's good for them, man. Okay? We talking about people that, that are, are doing a lot of crazy stuff, man. Okay? A lot of sinning and stuff, man. And thinking that they can just freely do whatever they want to. They can just stop uh, smoking or they can just stop doing whatever. Okay? That's why prayer is, is important, man. Okay? Proverbs 20 and 24. Man's goings are of the Lord, how can a man then understand his own way, okay, so everything that we do, everything we say, you know, it all comes from the Lord, okay, whether it's, it's good or whether it's bad, okay, and that's, that's, that's the, uh, the point, okay, uh, 1 Samuel 2 and 6, the Lord killeth and maketh alive, he bringeth down to the grave and he bringeth up. Okay, so the Lord is the one who's in charge of, you know, somebody dying, passing away, okay, whether it's a, a, a little child, okay, a, 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 a nigga uh, getting shot, I mean, uh, shooting uh, down the block, and that, and that bullet, okay, just just magically bounces off a wall and hits, hits a baby, okay, that, that's the Lord doing, man, okay. The Lord maketh poor, and he maketh rich. Okay, and, and, and a lot of people, you know, they, they sit up there in this society, okay, and they, I'm, I'm going to go to go to college all my life, and, you know, but then when you go to college, you sitting up there um, doing all this college work, okay, and then you end up getting a job that isn't even in your field, and now you left with, with tons of debt, Okay. When all you had to do was just come back onto the Lord, man, and realize that if the Lord wanted you to make you rich overnight, he can do that, man. That's a small thing. 
Okay, if you wanted to take away every single thing that you had, the Lord can do that. Okay, read the story of Job. Okay, it says, he bringeth low and lifteth up. Okay, so the Lord is the one who does this. It ain't say a man kills and a man brings brings life into this world. Okay, first off, who, who, who put the spirit in the baby, man? It's the Lord, man. Who put the spirit in the in the in the in you? The Lord. You people, man, that it just gets me uh frust I mean kind of mad, you know, the fact that people, you know, not giving credit to to Yahweh by some Yahweh side to the Lord, man. Okay? And it's it is it's all according to the Lord's will, you know. <laughs> um it's just Luke. Uh, 12 and 16 and he spake a parable unto them saying the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful I mean plentifully and he thought within himself okay which when you go into the scriptures what did it say a man's heart devises his way but the Lord directs his, th his steps okay so this man was thinking in himself okay saying what shall I do because I have no room to, to bestow the, my fruits. And he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and, and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take ease. I mean, take your ease. Eat, drink, and be merry. But Yahweh by Shem Yahweh the Most High, said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee, then who shall those things be, which thou hast provided. Okay? So so you got people out here that, you know, I want a, I want the, 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 the newest car when it comes out. You know, I want uh, uh, to buy a house or, or to continue to do things. You know, I want to get my credit right. I want to, I want to think about my future here in America. Okay, well, what do the scriptures say, man? When when the Lord comes, he's going to come as a thief in the night, man. And you people that think that y'all can just do whatever y'all want, okay? Instead of doing what the Lord wants, okay? And realizing that this is the Lord's will, y'all going to get destroyed. And that's as simple as that, okay? I got one more example, okay? Um, Matthew 16 and 21. From that time forth began Yahweh Shah. To show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. And what Yahweh saw, the one of the world inwardly calls Jesus, he knew what the Lord's will was, man. You know? He knew that he had to come and, and, and sacrifice himself. Okay? That, that's something that he already knew. And when he went to go pray, he, he prayed to the Most High. And he said, not my will, but your will. Okay? Not from off of what I want, but from, from off of what you want. Okay? And, and, and he knew what was going to happen, man. All the shit that was going to happen to him. He knew about that, man. Okay, he read about it. Okay? Just like we know what's going to happen to America. We know what's going to happen. Uh, the RFID chip, the martial law, all these different prophecies that are going to come. Because that's the Lord's purpose, man. And all we can do is just pray that we can get through this stuff, man. Okay? You know, and, and when, when, he, when, when the Lord was telling these things to his disciples, Peter... Uh, re rebuked him, and 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 he didn't want to hear it. You know, he was trying to say, man, that ain't, that don't gotta happen, man. You know, this ain't gonna happen. You know, and then he, but he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense to me, for thou savorest not the things that be of the Most High Yahweh Yahshua, but those that be of men, and no, the people that that. Have that that um, mindset that you know it's free will. I can do whatever I want to. You know you're an offense, man, to to the Lord. Okay. 
you are you are you 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 savor the things and you want the things that 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 is of men okay you don't you don't want the things that the lord want you know because if you wanted the things that the lord wanted you'd get get in get in order with the lord man okay but as the scriptures say you know it's what the lord wants man it's, it's either the lord wants you or the lord don't okay and i pray that the lord wants me man okay as, as well as the other brothers you know who, who's doing this work in truth and sincerity okay so with that, man, hopefully this lesson was uh, edifying. Um, I want to say salawam till next time.